Hello everyone, and welcome back to another, the final level of Let's Play Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, where in this part we're going to be taking care of the final level in the game, uh, Jurassic Jungle, so uh, yeah, this is the actual final level, and then we're pretty much more or less done, how exciting is that? Hooray, you did it, my contraption is working! Step right in and it will transport you somewhere really cool. At least, I think it will. Well, let's find out. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, it's like a little sort of like an orb portal thing. And wow, he's using the wing shield during transport. So actually the wing shield does have another use. Who, uh, it's actually, you know, who, who knew that? So, yeah, by the way, just woken up and I have a terrible throat. So I will be sucking on a... Uh, Memphis switch during this part and uh, my mind might go a bit blank but I think it should go quite well to be honest because this is probably uh, another awesome level in this game so yeah let's go Aha Spyro! The R1000 and the TRX 1000s have escaped from their inescapable cages and are running amok through the jungle! Please stop them before they destroy the rest of the science labs and all of our research! No problem, so... No problem! But say, what's a R1000 something something? Oh, well, to put it in simplified terms that even a dragon can understand, they're mechanically enhanced nanotech proportion oriented rip talks, which uh, we've been working on here in our labs. Uh, quite the state of the art, I might add. But they're very edgy. Oh, really? And how exactly would I go about destroying these things? Well, we did find a flaw in the R1000 models when they were uh, exposed to sub-zero temperatures. Perhaps that information will come in useful. <laughs> no problem. I have just the right breath to chill them out. Great! On the other hand, the T-Rex 1000s are quite vulnerable to electricity, yet we've not been able to get close enough to them to zap them with an electrical charge. I'm sure Sparrow can take care of that, and no, I do not want to talk to you again. Why have you just done that? That's that's stupid. Uh, mind you, it does actually say another voice line, so actually we'll go back to that, actually. Uh, why not? Hmm, the cosine of pi multiplied by a star. Yes, 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 that's it! <laughs> <laughs> so there we go, then. Uh, so, this level, basically, is like a little combination of let's say Molten Crater and also you could say as well definitely that's a level called again sorry uh, Skelos Badlands that's the one see where I told you about mind going blank I mean seriously uh, there we go and they're the electric breath ones so yeah pretty cool so uh, electric breath on metal dinosaurs and the other ones, obviously, just use the ice breath, freeze them, and then break them apart. You know, pretty, uh, pretty cool idea, really. It really is. So, uh, yeah, so I really like sort of like how this level sort of like uh, pulled out. It really is. It really does closely resemble, you know, sort of like a a Jurassic Jungle, like the levels are uh, supposed to be themed on. So basically, uh, sort of like an Indiana Jones type theme going on to the level here, uh, which actually does, you know, work very well with this, you know, with what we're trying to do here. So, what they've been trying to do, pulling off with these levels, definitely has actually worked out really well. It honestly has, to be honest, so, uh, they've definitely done a good idea with this, you know, actually done a good job at executing this, even though the game's, uh, you know, controls, mechanics, uh, how the game functions and plays. You know, they've really done a good job in other areas. And obviously this needs another key, you know, same as what we saw in Monkey Monastery, so... I'm not saying that this is a sister level at all, by any means at all, but yeah, uh, I'm getting repetitive with what I'm saying here. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so there are some tricky areas you've got to glide to in this level in order to, uh, you know, obviously get, you know, certain uh, certain gems and the odd dragonfly and stuff so 
and also some of these sinking platforms can be a little glitchy. I will warn you that as well. So I've got the right breath handy. Uh, I'm always going to keep the electric breath on if I can. Yeah, so this, this is what I mean by the glitchy platforms. Yeah. Now you totally see what I mean, don't you? Yeah. Not not exactly what I want really to be happening here, so. But we're still able to get through. I want to find the sparks because then it will make collecting these uh, dragonflies so. Well, not dragonflies, collecting these gems so much easier. So let's speak to this guy right here. Gems. Still fresh. Three days. They're following us. Hey, Spyro, I've been studying this temple, and it's quite fascinating. Oh, yeah? How so? Well, I believe that these strange drawings on the walls are a clue to something hidden away in this temple. But I can't quite decipher them yet. <coughs> yes, and from what I have been able to decipher, it seems that the gems on the statues inside react to heat. Perhaps you can figure out the rest, Spyro. Well, I can have a go at this puzzle. So, yeah, Sparks was there for a second ago, but now he is obviously gone. Um, you know, obviously they put him in there for the cutscene, but they won't give me him, you know, to make gem collecting a little easier. I mean, oh, there's a fodder here. By the way, same fodder as what you actually did have in Scalos Badlands. But obviously they are blue now, the little lizard things, so... Ah, uh, is this guy just gonna like T-Po- These guys are like T-Pos and they're not even gonna attack or anything, like what, what the heck? So broken. Uh, yeah, so I've got to try to figure out what the pattern and order is for this puzzle and uh... Wish me luck, I can actually get it first time round, uh, but I can only try. That's all I can actually do. I think it begins with red, green and blue. Yellow and then purple, the same as the gems. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Yes, so... We have red. I think you got to use flame, actually. To, yeah, you got to use flame to light them up, of course. Uh, because, you know, heat sort of, like, activates things. So, red, green... Blue, yellow, and then purple, just like the actual gems. Oh, yeah, so there we go. So, no, that's actually not correct. Okay, it's tricked us. Yeah, so I got the first part right, but the. Uh... I think it's fodder, just keep pulling back. Like, if you want to uh, spam and mine fodder in this game, I mean, at least you've got that as an option. So, yeah, they've mixed them last two up. Very, very tricky. So, uh, there we go. We have released a dragonfly. Which, of course, we have to capture ourselves with the annoying bubble breath mechanic. Hey, it's Scarlet. Yeah. And by the way, this NPC uh, mouse character here goes with the name Copeland. So, Professor Copeland. Yeah. So, basically, Stuart Copeland. The guy who composed all of the soundtracks for uh, the original Spyro trilogy, plus uh, I believe this game too, quite possibly. So I know I, sh I should have really researched this before I started off the Let's Play, but you know uh, I can't get everything right. This is not meant to be a professional thing, like I said, closing off the last part. This is just meant to be like a little hobby and entertainment for you all to watch, as well as to uh, walk you through the game should you have never played it before. Which I'm sure, if you're in my generation, you all had this on your, uh... Hey, it's Doompa! What the name? Come on, Doompa! Like, is that like a Goomba ripoff from Mario? It, yeah. It's gotta be. So there's a key. Cool. Right, we need that to, uh... We might as well backtrack and get that key right now, actually. Because it's actually not too far away. That's if I can make it over the glitchy platforms without a death, uh, which... I can't exactly guarantee it will happen, but, but as I was saying, I'm sure if you're in my generation, you're a millennial, or one of the uh, older of Generation Z, you will be, have grown up with this game quite possibly on your 6th gen consoles, you know, the 
PS2, the GameCube, and the first Xbox. So, I know a lot of people grew up with this game in my uh, generation with uh, this and Crash Ref of Cortex as well. So, there we go. Every time Spyro goes cool, it reminds me of the cool Flash. Hey, it's Jean Marc. Jean Marc, that's actually uh, you know quite an alright make actually. Uh, Sean and uh, Jean, you know, names like that. I always sort of like read a scene or gene, or sort of like read out that way. But you actually pronounce them an interesting way. It real. What the heck happened there? You see, that's what I mean about platforms and stuff being really glitchy. Can be very typically annoying. So, right. Without further ado, we will now move on to the next area. Because, you know, we might as well uh, try our best to be doing that while we're at it. So, let's just move our way along here. Yeah, so like a lot of climbing, you know, all levels follow sort of like the same pattern in this game. They're all circular. They all sort of like go up and then down, you know, sort of like elevation. You know, sort of like they climb and then they go back down again. Well, that's what most of the levels do anyway, yeah. You know, Thieves Den sort of like does that multiple times. But a lot of these levels sort of like climb and then, you know sort of like go back down again like cloud nine is a very good example of that because you go right to the top in that level so yeah oh no wrong breath wrong breath wrong breath okay so i don't think ice is gonna deal with a metal dino like that and uh you think that these bridges like collapse but they actually do not so that would actually be a nice touch. There might be another bridge in this level that actually collapses. I'm sure I remember a, a collapsing bridge in this level. I don't know, it's been so long since I've actually played this game, so... Uh, we will actually find out pretty soon. All we know is we are pretty much uh, getting towards the halfway point at this point. But... I'm going to clear this like little area down here, and then I'm going to... Uh, I'm actually going to do this challenge. I don't even know what breath I need. What breath do I even need? Uh, oh, electricity, of course, because I'm lighting up poles, so... Might as well light all the ones at the bottom first and then make my way up. You know, I sort of like... Uh, as I say, using that pattern again. Start at the bottom, work upwards, so... I know, obviously, some people it works the other way around, but, you know... I do the house building strategy, that's what I'm going to call it, so, this one's actually pretty easy actually, wow, I've actually managed to light all the poles already, cool, so, nice. In other words, hey, it's Karen. you're keeping hold of the dragonfly sparks, I know your tricks. I am not stupid, I know how, uh, you know, logic works even in the Sparrow universe, so yep, yeah, oh, this is like a little climbing section, I didn't even know that was there, I never actually had to uh, I don't recall having to use that actually I thought those was a whirlwind, but obviously not, you know, it's all coming back to me you know, something that actually doesn't really uh, hadn't really happened with other Spyro games but it's happening with this one, uh, pretty cool, so right, I'm gonna uh Right, there's nothing over here, so I don't have to worry about that area. Pretty cool. I wonder if you can actually get through there, actually. Uh, I could try it, but I don't think I've had a... I don't even recall a single spark zap, actually. I really don't, so I don't actually want to be uh, risking uh, losing my health and dying. Uh, but... No, you can't get through here anyway, because it's hard bordered, blocked off. So anyway, here we go with the mini game. Wish me luck. Now, uh, which one is this? We'll find out, shall we? Wow, we nearly clicked half the gems already. Cool. In fact, we have collected over half the gems. Wow. You know, we're actually making quick progress in this level. We really are. 
My calculations indicate that this volcano is about to explode. Slide down to the bottom before it's too late and don't worry about me. Save yourself. Slide down the volcano? Oh yes, let's go. So yeah, another slide. Awesome slides. I love slides in this game. Hence why I love Monkey Monastery. Funny Marsha slide and of course this level slide. You know? All really cool actually. And the soundtrack for this slide is absolutely phenomenal. Now I don't think this slide is quite as long as Pony Master's slide to what I remember, but I will just say this, a slide is fun, so it doesn't really matter, and that boulder was just sort of T-posing as well, like what is going on, just let me go down, boulder. Yeah, the game's physics do sort of break, it's still not as perfect as the original Spyro Trilogy or say Reignited or in a lot of cases Hero's Tale, but I mean, it is, to a degree, at least better. Now, if you fall in this lava, you are dead because you basically just cannot get back out of it. And that is really irritating. It really is. So, uh, and I thought I'd gone the wrong way then because I know one of these slides in this game, I think I remember some slide that actually tricks you with the way you go, but you actually die. I think it's actually this slide. So, I'm going to have to be really careful about that. I really am. Especially with these fin sections here. Yeah, these fin sections towards the end. This is probably the hardest slide just simply because of this alone. You just got to get your timing with these jumps. Absolutely. You have to be frame precise. That's the word. You've got to be frame precise. To complete it, come on. Oh, come on, I've got this. I've got this, come on. Oh, come on, let me pass. I don't actually think you have health in this, I really don't. But of course you found the faster way down, you cheeky little... Ah, I'm not as... Oh. You made it just in time, Spiral. Here, I found a dragonfly on my way down. Put your calculator down and just give me the goddamn dragonfly. <laughs> hey, it's Sarge. Ah, yeah, okay. Well, that was a fun little slide, so... It seems as if the volcano has stabilized. Wanna try sliding down it again? Well, it's an option, but, you know, it's not actually really any... Uh, purpose for it, so yeah, I'm not even going to bother with that, I'm just going to uh, exit the area. Well, I'm going to actually give up first and see if we've got anything to say about that. Of course, we're back at the top. Okay, so the game thinks you failed. The game thinks you failed the challenge because you've quit near the top and said you were almost there. Okay. So we definitely didn't uh, think about that one programming the game, did they? But as I said before, it is rush development. So I mean, what are you actually really going to expect? Like, like seriously. So. Alright, it's loading. Which is taking quite a long time. I don't know why. I don't know if this uses like more intensive assets on the game. You know, sort of like the system that it's running on. Because uh, what he's about doing is sort of like supercharging, but like going at a normal walking speed. Okay. Uh, sometimes you like T poses. You know, obviously, uh, like Zed pointed out in a part, and I've pointed out uh, on previous parts as well. But for now, it's just sort of like doing this like weird thing. Really interesting. Right. Electric breath. There we go. Cool. You see, the level design in this game is really good, but it would work better in like an original spiral format or a reignited format for the simple reason oh come on that now that was really dumb I just totally overglided that platform yeah but as I was saying a lot of things are like really really spaced out oh at least we get a checkpoint from where we uh, 
lasted the minigame, so that's at least a bit of a saviour to some degree. So, at least I can thank the game for that. Well, I say, Spyro does move quite slow and the environments do seem a little big, you know, compared to what there was in the other games. So, maybe if you actually shrunk the environments as well, not only would it take so long to maybe complete the levels and stuff, but also, at the, uh, at the same time, you know, it would be less taxing on, you know, let's say, console resources, so. Right, I'm going to see if this is this has got to land me on it, yeah. Although it's still a little bit glitchy. Oh, come on. What am I doing? Right, I know this section can be a real pain to get across. You know, it really can, so. You know, it's just one of them irritating things. It really is, but, you know. But, you know, that, that was a dodgy platform I was actually referring to more than at the beginning, actually. So, I'm just going to do a quick Sparks check. And see I haven't missed anything. Nope, so. Sparks the Gem Finder is actually not working at the minute. Oh, you have to, oh, you have to use D-pad, not analog stick. There we go, that makes sense. Uh, and, of course, every time you use it, again, what is uh, Sparks pointing to? I have not missed a gem, have I? I have not missed a gem. Ah, you know what? I'm just going to uh, continue to progress in the level, and if I have missed a gem, I'll have to go back around for it, so... Which I'll make cut. Now I love these, like, little, uh, sort of, like, palm trees. Well, not little, actually quite tall. I always think palm trees look really cool, like, one of my favourite types of uh, tree around, you know. You see it a lot. You know, sort of like on the uh, Spanish islands. You know, really beautiful places. So, you know, obviously if you, people, are, like 60% of people are from the UK, actually visit, you know, the uh, Spanish islands. I mean, I mean, I've been to quite a few, uh, you know, been to Gran Canaria. I've been to Coleta de Fust in, uh, you know, what is it? Uh, Fortaventura and also as well. I've been to, you know, Two places in Menorca, Kalambosh and Kalamblains. So, yeah, really, really nice places, actually, uh, if you go to the Spanish islands. So, yeah, really recommend that. Uh, right, okay. Come on, give me the ice breath. Come on, because this one's going to attack me, I can tell. Right, you're not attacking me. You're not attacking me, buddy. You're really not attacking me. So, uh... I always like clear this top section first. Now there is a bottom section in this, and quite unfortunately, it is quite wide open. Oh, I don't understand how I saved that. I, I actually do count myself really lucky there, because I was literally on the brink of death. I really was, so, you know, really scary. I'm pretty sure in some game, when you go in the mini games, some version of this game, the reset, it could be the PS2 version, I have no idea. So, but all I can remember is I had to do another lap of the level, and it was really annoying. Anyway, speak to this guy. Gosh darn it, those blasted R1000s destroyed my lab and ran off with my equipment! Um, hello? Oh, um, here's Spyro. Say, I, I don't suppose you could help me get my equipment back, could you? Bring it on, I think I smell a barbecue. Great, thanks Spyro. Well, you, you, you see all those R1000s out there? Say, borrowed my equipment. All I need you to do is to get it back for me. <laughs> Simple. Oh, that's all you want me to do. Uh, and how exactly do you want me to do that? There's a lava pit out there. Ah, yes. Well, it just so happens that we scientists here have needed to go on to the lava also. We therefore develop these devices that you can use too. Here, let me turn it on for you. There! Now all you have to do is pass through this gateway and you will be able to walk onto the lava without being hurt. However, Spyro, the invulnerability that you have to the lava won't last long, but you can come back and recharge if necessary. Two questions. Did he just turn that on with a calculator? And B, why did he not make it permanent? Like, come on. Cool! Now it's time to go kick some rip-talk butt! 
Good luck to you! Alright, okay, so, yeah, you could have made that last longer, because, you see, <laughs> why would you, like, program something to only give you, like, so much protection for, like, so long? You know, it, it honestly makes little sense, so I'm actually going to use the Ice Breath for this one, actually. Yeah, Ice Breath should do it well. Cool, so, I believe all I've got to do is just, uh, destroy all of these, you know, dinos here. Oh, you actually have to collect things! Oh, and the clock ticks, of course, while you're collecting those things. Oh, dear. Right. You know what? I'm just going to top this, uh... Right, okay, I'm, I'm actually going to go and get this one here before the time runs out. I'm doing this in a very weird order. I am well aware of that. Uh, but, you know, I've got to, like, try to collect these, like, efficiently as possible. Now, I believe there is another minigame, to what I remember, around this area. So, I might as well just, you know... I might as well just complete what I can around here. And I think I've just gone in totally a total circle here. I could have gone a much faster way. Uh, so, a lot of you who have speedrun this game watching this are probably going to be like cringe. But, you know, obviously I'm just trying to remember uh, this stage. Because I don't remember too much about this, actually. So, uh... Crutches with brain fog? I have absolutely no idea. So, uh, let's have a look around here. Oh, here we go. So, I believe there should be just one more to go. Uh, that's if I can get back in time. Oh, come on. I can't believe I've done this. Right. Oh, there we go. There's the portal. So, I should just make this back in time. Fingers crossed. There we go. Got it. Awesome. So, just, just let me through the, the barrier. Like, seriously, come on. Right, okay, so, I want to go around here. I wanna, I'm going to hope that this final dinosaur that I need to destroy is around here. And it's not. I'm sure that the minigame was out this way. Why am I not finding it? Maybe it's sort of like to this side here. Well, it better be, because otherwise I'm going to die, because I haven't got... Uh, protection from the lava for that long. So there we go, that's it. Cool, so. <sighs> right, I'm gonna collect this. Right, okay, that's all them collected, so I know I've got them now, so I'm gonna do this mini game before I head back, and hopefully they'll all save. Please don't tell me it's this that's not saving, because otherwise I'm gonna have to redo that annoying challenge once again. Really annoying. So anyway, here we go. I know what this minigame is, you sort of like climb to the top of a tower, and I think you might have to actually do this one twice, I'm actually not too sure, but we're going to find out pretty shortly anyway, so yeah, wish me luck, and there are 7,000 gems total in this game, so that tells me that we are very, very near the end now, so yeah, that's something I can at least relax about and think, you know, yeah, Welcome done. to the tower of scary and ridiculous heights! <laughs> And climb to the top of the tower, you will prove yourself worthy of the tower's secret treasure. Why a tower exists in the middle of the jungle is a secret hidden away ages ago. Right, okay, wish me luck on this. There's like a certain strap to this, but I know that climbing to the top of this thing can be pretty irritating if you don't know the actual correct path, so... Uh, I'm not actually not too sure the correct path. I think you just pretty much go in more or less just like a straight up direction. So I can try it. Do you dare climb the Tower of Hell? <laughs> That's the spirit, Spyro. Watch out for falling rocks and blow dart traps. Uh, there are some mean looking spiders up there too. And just avoid everything and get to the top. Right, I'm just gonna sort of like put in the assumption there that that. that Professor Squeak, that mouse right there, is just an ass. Because it looks like he's actually created this challenge himself. Oh, well, that is really how you do the challenge, isn't it? Way to go. You have to sit through a loading screen every time you fail it. You're kidding. Okay, there's actually no script for this one. Okay, yeah. That's the spirit, Spyro. Watch out for falling rocks and blow dart traps. Uh, there are some mean look- Okay, alright, I'm just gonna get to the top here, because... I actually need to be making progress with this, so I know not to go on that way again. So, yeah, at least the analog control on this is... 
got it's, it's fairly responsive, so it can help you actually uh, pass it. Now, I can, yeah, yeah, you can actually jump the rocks. Pretty cool. So I don't actually think you're meant to be able to do that, but you actually can do it anyway. And it does actually, uh, to be honest with you, it actually does save you uh, a lot of trouble. And I know it's probably cheating. You're probably thinking, well, I guess that's not legit. But you know, oh, oh yeah, I forgot about the spikes. Very important. There we go, we're at the top already, pretty cool. Now, there must be a second challenge to this, and you're at the top already. Come on, just get the dragonfly down for me, dude. Yeah, this guy's just an ass. It was terrific, Spyro. I've never seen anyone get up here before. Really? Then how did you get up here? Oh, that. Well, there's a hidden elevator that only I know how to find. But anyway... Uh, you'll have to keep it a secret, but there's not really any treasure up here. I never actually thought that anyone could get to the top. <laughs> what? So I did all that for nothing? Well, I guess I should give you something. It's not much, but I found this dragonfly hiding in my secret elevator. Here, you can have it. Yeah, okay. You're just giving the dragonfly from the start, but you know. I'm just a, just a fun little challenge, so can't moan too much. Right, okay, let's get out of here. I don't have any more dragonflies. Yeah, it's just one. You, but you can try climbing to the top again if you want. Nah, I'm not. No, you know, no, no. Uh, just for fun. Nah, I'll leave you it. You know what fun is, don't you, Spyro? No. Okay. This tower has been here for years, and it will be here when you decide to try again. It'll be there for years, it'll be there for decades, it'll be there for centuries and millenniums. So... Yep, but you're the one manning the tower, buddy. You really are. You're the actual the one manning this tower, and you have created this challenge. So I could have just got the dragonfly off you. So yeah, as I said, you're an ass. Anyway, let's. Uh, I think it's time to, uh, you know, obviously move on and see if we can get the actual level done, which shouldn't be too hard at this point. Actually, it really should not. So. Yeah, this level has some pretty long loading times, I'm not gonna lie, so... There we go, pretty cool. Right. Are these guys back again? Are you kidding? No, they can't be. No, I don't think this challenge has reset itself, but the, the guys have respawned. But I think what I've collected is still there, interestingly enough. Right, I'm gonna go the other way, actually. Maybe that's a long way around. I'm actually gonna get that dragonfly if I can, though, while I'm at it. I might as well have you. If you'll let me catch you. Do you know what? I'm on a time limit there. And I'm on dangerous lava. Come on, buddy. Let me just have you. Come on. Oh, come on, guys. Let, let me just catch you. There we go. Hey, it's Mitch. There we go. Right, finally, right. You've only just given me enough time to get back. So, you obviously didn't think about my safety, did you there, Mitch? So... Anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, you can actually change the first letter of that, but I'm not actually going to go there because obviously I want this to be a bit, you know, sort of like more family friendly. So, great job, Spiro! <laughs> you found them all. Here, I found this dragonfly under some broken equipment I found in my lab. You can have it. Well, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> got to return hey, the favor hey. some way, haven't you? So. I'm not going to moan about everything I've got to do. We've got to work for some things. Let's see if we've got anything else to say to that. Great! Now all I have to do is remember where I had everything. Yeah, fair enough. So, yeah, now time to make a move and uh, leave this area behind. So, uh... And I believe this is the final chamber of a room, so, uh... Yeah, definitely wish me luck on this one. Uh, now, this looks like a climbable wall, but it simply is not. It's electrified, and it will cause harm to you, and I believe that is the first Zoe I've actually seen. So, I believe the other checkpoints are actually... You have to rely upon actual, uh, you know... Mini game portals. It's Spyro! That bad old thief over there stole something from me. Can you believe that? 
he stole a biomolecular hologram projector from me. And if you would kindly retrieve it, I will reward you graciously. In other words, a cool gadget, not an essential item. Okay, all right, I'll have a go for you. All right, so there's just a few more gems that are like left in this area, and then I believe we have it. I don't know what I don't know what's up with the gem counter because it sort of like looks very off. That's six thousand seven hundred, and I've got six thousand nine hundred. I don't understand what has happened to the gem counter at the top there. Oh, I know what's happened. It's that uh, that money bags, money bags from uh, Dragonfly Dojo. It's sort of like thrown the number off by two hundred. You yeah, see, but I didn't exactly compensate for that, did they? when they actually did this game. Unlike Spyro 2, where paying money bags actually affects the guidebook as well. So, and you have a dragon, of course. There you go. Right, okay, right. Let me uh, retrieve that. I don't understand where it's gone, but do you have to collect something? I don't think you actually have to do it. I think I've just got to get back, and I don't think I'm going to have time, actually. Oh, I don't believe this. Oh, there we go. Right, we're safe. Cool, right. Right, can I have it now? Unfreeze. Oh, I can't believe that actually just froze you. Right. right, I'm gonna have to wait for you to unfreeze then, aren't I? I'll tell you was a. Uh... Oh no, there we go. I thought I couldn't unfreeze him then. That was, yeah, scary. <laughs> Great job, Spyro! I knew you could do it. Here, take this. It's a dragonfly I found in the jungle. Yeah, so surprisingly, you don't actually have to. Uh... Hey, it's Boggy. Another frozen two posing dino. Yeah, unlike uh, Honey Marsh and Cloud9, we had to collect a collectible, I believe, from them, so... Well, not in this one. Okay, so... Okay, so I can just charge these guys? Oh, I'm going to try it the next one I see, actually. I really am, so... Yeah, so there's actually... Not really that many gems here. They're mostly just single and green gems. You'd think there was a lot of gems in this area, but there actually is not... You know, it's not like that satisfying click to it, you know? You'd have thought we'd have like made this a little bit sort of maybe a tad more consistent in those regards. But I don't appear to have actually done that. So I believe that's that area completed. So that's all we need to actually think about. So let's uh, go around here. Collect these gems here and talk to this guy Light here. Spyro, you made it! Great job! Uh, it was no sweat. As a reward for your heroic efforts, and in the name of good science, please accept this as a reward. <laughs> hey, it's Wonky! So Wonky's the last dragonfly in the game. Fun fact. Okay, so... Right, let's go down here. I believe this is the last area that actually has gems and stuff in it. See, they put more gems down here, but we're not in other areas. Right, that's the return home portal. We don't exactly want that yet, do we? Uh, right, let's have a look through here. There should be two more. Another green gem. Yes, there we go. That's that level 100% done. What breath do I need to take that down? Oh, you don't, you don't. It just opens up. Okay, so there we go. And now we're back at the start of a level, if that's a familiar sight to you. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know what? Ripto can be a pain, and I'm fully aware of that, so I'm actually going to uh, get that life while I'm at it. And there we go, so if we open up the guidebook real quick, as you will see, progress completion for this game is now on 100%, so we have officially made it. Awesome stuff, so, uh, yep, so there we go. So, yep, let's finish this off. I'm just going to uh, see if this guy's got anything else to say while we're here. Hmm, the cosine of pi multiplied by- Okay, so you're totally oblivious to what's all just happened in that last, like, half an hour when you were just stood there. Okay, so, anyway, let's get out of here, and, uh, in the next part we'll have to face Ricto again, so, yeah, pretty cool stuff, so. Let's go. The windshield transport is, like, so cool, it really is, so. But I'm obviously not going to be recording this part right now anyway. I'm going to actually uh, save that for a little later on. Because obviously I have things to be doing today. So I think I'll just leave that as it is for now. And we are loading. So there we go. So 90 dragonflies. 
7,000 gems. And yeah, that looks to me like that's actually the uh, what we have in this game. I don't actually think you're going to get your gems back from money bags. What a charm. So Fat Bear Money Bags in this game gets to keep all of the gems. He actually gets to keep them. Unlike what happened in Spyro 2 and 3. What a catastrophe. But anyway, I think I'm going to uh, return back here and we can see just right over there. That's where we're going to be facing Ripto again. So, there we go everyone. So, of course, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this part. And, uh, yeah, that was the final level of the game. So, I will indeed, of course, catch you all in the next part. Which will be the final part where we face the final boss once again for the third time. But this time with a bit of a twist, so yeah, and hopefully we're going to get a bit of an ending, so yes. But anyway everyone, thank you so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed this part, and I will see you all in the last episode, which will be coming up next week, so yeah, I hope you all have fun till then, and this has been a fun Let's Play, so yes, uh, I will catch you all later, take care, and goodbye for now.